recommend getting Gary on to talk about God and government, um, Abraham Kuyper. Um, there's been a lot of Protestant theology that's been worked out in the past that we just don't even know about and aren't even aware of. I mean, it goes back to my three spheres of, of government that God has given us. If we, um, one of, you know, it, it, there's so much repentance that needs to happen. Did you see the uh, Tennessee bill, uh, Resolution 803? Tennessee came out with this bill, and it actually starts July 1st. It was basically a bill of, uh, a resolution of, hey, we need to do 30 days of repentance here in Tennessee. Really cool. Yeah. Um, uh, and they're going to, you know, they're encourage all the churches to do this, and, you know, also intermittent fasting, stuff like that. They're trying to take it seriously. And they list off, you know, we need, we need to repent of human trafficking. We need to repent of all the violence in our, in our state. And they list off, list off some very specific things. They did not list off abortion. Mm. They did not list off the trans mutilation stuff. They did not list off, I think, some very, um, uh, there's one other one. Uh, just the, the, They focused on the things that are more politically correct. Yeah. And Who's not against human traffic? Exactly. Is, is, is this the Tim Keller kind of acceptance way of talking about immigration kind of stuff. And so we re- need really deep repentance. And one of the areas that we need to repent is specifically in the church of not being a prophet to our people, not bringing the word of God to our people. We all... Almost all churches pick and choose what verses they want to talk about or preach on. And they stay away from the other verses they don't want to talk about or preach on. And so the whole counsel of God we've rejected in our, in our nation, and then I'd say specifically where we need to repent of, and should have been mentioned in the resolution in the Tennessee bill, is sending our kids to public schools. The evolution ideology in our public schools is taught us DEI. It's taught us natural selection. It's taught us what it means to be in groups. It's taught us worship of nature mm-hmm. rather than nature's, rather nature's than the God. God who created That's nature. That's right. right. And so we, uh, we've been indoctrinating our kids for, what, you know, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 years in this public education ideology of evolution. And it's no wonder we're in a situation where a man thinks he can become a girl. And, but we've, we've been, what, mom and dad got about 2,000 hours at home with their kids compared to the 16,000 hours that public education gets with the kids. Who's going to win that battle? No wonder we're losing the culture. That's right. We're losing our kids. Okay, so how can people follow you and keep up? A cross-politic po- yeah. podcast, where yeah. do they get that? They can go to crosspolitic.com, uh, you know, just Jesus over politics, crosspolitic.com. Uh, we have a little podcast network called the Fight, Laugh, Feast Network. That Fight, Laugh, Feast it came from, we believe that Christians right now need to learn to fight together. Um, and with each other, iron sharpens iron, feast, that, the joy of, uh, the, that God prepared a table in the presence of our enemies. We need to recover feasting. Feasting is such a gospel evangelistic um, opportunity. And then lastly, fighting that, uh, excuse me, um, fight, laugh, feast, uh, laughing, um, the joy of the Lord is our strength. We need to be joyful warriors in our culture. And you've got a conference coming up in Fort Worth. Prodigalamerica.com. You're actually speak. We do a pre-business conference. Um, and it's fantastic to, you know, we probably have about 400 business leaders at the pre-business conference. Uh, ProdigalAmerica.com, it's here in Fort Worth. It's October 31st to November 2nd. Starting right on Halloween, are you? It's days, yeah. Uh, what would we'd call Reformation Day. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm Presbyterian. Um, but it's days before our election. And some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but we trust in the Lord our God. All right, we're going to summarize all of this in our free economic battle plan. You can get a copy of it at economicwarroom.com. Remember what we see as a marketplace, our enemies view as a battle space. This is Kevin Freeman from the Economic War Room.